Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Minecraft Fleet Mine Guide. And in this episode, I'll be showing you how to create a basic item. So, an item that doesn't do anything except be an item. So, maybe to use it as a recipe for something. Something like that. So, we'll be creating the item, adding a texture to it, which I'll explain. Uh, adding something called an item name, which is not like the inventory name, it's like a name that the code sort of uses. Um, how to add it to like the creative tabs in creative mode as well as adding an uh, inventory name and adding a recipe for it so I'll be showing how to do all that today and hopefully explaining it to you. So the first thing we want to do is to create the class that will will be where our items, blocks, whatever you want to declare will be based. For this example obviously an item I'll be creating a yellow sphere for an example. Anyway to create that class which is called a mod underscore input name class so mod underscore a or mod underscore cheese whatever you want to call it. Um, to get to that to get to creating cl that, you want to go to client, source, net.minecraft.source, and there should be loads of um, Java classes. Just right click anyone and click file new class. And then where it says name, you put mod underscore, uh, and then I'm putting yellow sphere, so I put yellow sphere, but you can call this whatever you want. And click finish, and that will create our class ready to input code into. Now we've got to manipulate this mod underscore class while we've created to allow us to use the model of the methods to make us making our item much more easier. And the first thing you need to do is where it says public class mod underscore yellow sphere, whatever you called it. After that and before this um, curly bracket, you want to press enter. And then after the, it says mod underscore yellow sphere, you want to put extends space and then base mod with a capital B and M. Base mod's a file from the mod loader mod which allows us to use the mod loader methods. Next we want to fix this error here but because we have to include certain things inside our Java class in order for that error to go away and pretty much have our class a model of the class. The third thing is something called the string version which is just a version for our own benefit and for the game's benefit to like sort of track what version of the mod you've got. So I'm going to put here public inside these two color brackets you put public uh, string with a capital S and then get version so lowercase g capital V two brackets with nothing inside and then you want to press enter and put two curly brackets if you put the first one in and press enter it will automatically input the closed one and then here inside here you want to put return space uh, speech mark and then you want to put a version so I could say v1.0 mc 1.4.5 another speech mark and a semicolon the next thing we want to do is create something called public void load, which is a method where we will hold most of our mod loader methods and it will obviously f um, remove this error. So you put public void load or lowercase two brackets and then press enter again and do a curly bracket, enter again to automatically input the close one. So that's a class setup with that error up here gone, ready for us to input code to create our item. So first we need to declare it, so we need to declare it as an item and to do that we need to put above the public void load uh, method and below the string get version method we want to put public static final or lowercase and then put item with a capital I so it's saying this is going to be a public static final of this class called item which is a class which holds a basic item sort of factors and you want to give it a name whatever you want, yellow sphere I'm going to give it because that's what we're creating and then you put space equals space and we put new or lowercase space and then item again with capital I a bracket and then there's an error because item requires one thing inside the bracket which is an ID and I'll just put a thousand because I know no item in the whole of the game will have that ID the next thing we need to do is to give this item a texture so to do that we because usually you'd put like something called set icon index and then you'd set an icon index and then it would sort of find it on that you know inside microfiles it's like gy inside there's items like png that basically tracks uh you tell it which part of that to look at and it gives that texture but obviously we don't want that we want our own 16 by 16 texture which i'll show you to create later to get that we need to obviously have it and then we need to put dot at the end of this thing dot set icon index and then we want to put mod loader dot add override it should automatically appear so you can double click it and you want to change var 0 to slash g uh, i slash items dot png and you want to change var 1 to our texture so 
if you're thinking of as how this class will go straight into Markov dot jar, where will the texture be in respect to that? I'm going to say it's going to be in the exact same in, um, index, so we just put slash and then put the name of our texture. So I've got a texture called yellow sphere and it's dot png. So I'll show you why it's a png and how to create this texture. So that's our sort of texture added to our item. Next, we want to do something called a, a method called dot set item name. This is not a name that the game uses to put it in the inventory. It's not a name that we use to refer to it in the code. It's just a name that's required. I'm not sure why it's required, but you have to have it. So you just put here dot set item name, and it should automatically appear. So you can just click enter on that, and then change part one string to some speech marks, and then put in here whatever. So yellow sphere, I guess. Um, now the very last thing we need to put on this line is something called a method called dot set creative tab, which adds it to the new creative tab view in Creative Run in Minecraft. So to do that, you at the end p press dot and then set creative tab. And it should have it here ready for you to click. And you change part one creative tabs to creative tabs with a capital C and T dot, and then it should come up with a list of tab and then something which all the tabs in the game and uh, we want to select one so I'm going to do the miscellaneous one so that will be tab misc so you double click that and then at the end to end this line you put a semicolon so that's our item completely declared with its texture added the next thing we want to do is do a method that modeler provides us that allows us to easily add an inventory name so if we just left it as it is it would show up in the game but it would have a weird name like an auto generate name that we don't want. If you want a specific inventory name, this is how you set it, which I think everyone wants. Anyway, uh, the way you put that me this method is inside the public void load constructor, and we put there mod loader dot add name, and then we put a bracket, and we need to change var zero if it appears like this to our name we had up here. So yellow sphere, all case sensitive. And in var1, we need to put speech marks and input the name that's going to appear inside the inventory cell. I'll put yellow Sophia version 1. It's version 1.0. And then you put a semicolon to end that line. The next thing we want to do is obviously add a recipe, so a way of us uh, constructing it. So I'm going to put another method inside this constructor mod loader dot add recipe. Hopefully, spell it right. And you put brackets and you want to put here new item stack brackets again and you want to end um, take away one of these end brackets and inside those new brackets we've created you want to put uh, the name of your item so yellow sophia and then a comma and then the amount you want to be crafted when we do this certain recipe I'm just going to say actually let's put four and then we put another comma we put new object and square brackets where the curly brackets are without pressing shift and then a curly bracket and click enter it should auto generate a uh, another curly bracket and after that curly bracket we put another bracket so and then semicolon so what that does is basically this bracket gets closed here and then this bracket gets closed here and what we want inside these curly brackets is the sort of shape of our recipe so as you know crafting benches are three by three so a crafting bench would look like this so it would be um, in the code this is what it would look like so it would be speech marks xxx or whatever letter it's another a comma and then speech marks again xxx another comma and speech marks so that's a full crafting table now what I want is three along the top so that I want three along the middle and then on the bottom I only want one but I want it in the middle so to get it in the middle we would put space x space so this space resembles to bottom left this space afterwards resembles bottom right and then this x resembles bottom middle so it'll be three along the top three along the middle and then one in the center and then af after that you put a comma we need to say what this x is going to resemble so we put a uh, normal apostrophe x and then we put a comma again and then we need to say what it's going to be so i want it to be glowstone dust so first we need to go to the class where glowstone dust is declared in which is item so you type it item dot and it should give us a list of all the items declared in that class and glowstone in code is named lightstone dust for some reason but yeah so you just do item dot lightstone dust or whatever thing you wanted and that's basically your recipe um, recipe finished 
So this is the texture we're going to be using, and I just created it in Photoshop. It's a 16 by 16 file, and it's just basically a dark circle with a light circle in the middle. And to create a 16 by 16, you go File New, and you put Width for 16 pixels, Height to 16, Resolution 722 pixels per inch, RGB color 8 bit, transparent background, and these don't touch those. Click OK, and it should create it. And then you just put in whatever textures, colors, stuff you want, and then you want to save it as a dot png so i've called it yellow sphere and you want to save it yellow sphere dot png so you go control shift s or whatever to go to save and then you want to do yellow sphere and change this to dot png click save i've already got to save file just overwrite it small is slow none click ok and that's that saved ready for us to use now i'm going to show you how to put this texture inside mcp now I'm going to show you how to put it in so that we can test it directly from Eclipse, which I'll show you later. You see this batch called Stock Clone, won't be using that, we'll be using the Eclipse method instead because that would be much easier and I don't see why you'd want to use this way. But to do that, first you need to put in texture and to get to that texture, put that texture in right, we need to first go to Eclipse, which is sort of like the virtual version of um, the Minecraft game files, the .minecraft folder. Then we see a folder called Client, that's sort of like the bin folder inside of that. And you see a folder called Bin, that's sort of like the Minecraft.jar. And then theoretically, this is all the classes inside the game. So when you open Minecraft.java with an archive, you see all these classes. This is what it technically resembles. And we said inside of our code that we want the texture to be in the main directory where all these classes, this class will be installed. So we copy this directly there. So with this code done and the texture input into MCP, we can now test it. And to test it, there's like a green circle with a white arrow. It says when you hover over it, run client, you just click that and that will load Minecraft. And if it says here, overriding QE items with yellowsphere.png and there's no errors, then that means it's worked. So first, so now we're going to see um, if this has actually worked. So we've got a single player. I've got a world uh, preloaded with a crafting bench and um, glowstone. So I'm just going to show you first in the inventory in the creative tab. So we go to the miscellaneous one. We can see here's our item, Yellow Sphere version 1.0. But I'm going to show you how to craft it. So remember we had three along the top, three along the middle, and I said one in the centre. So if I've done that, you can see it's crafted four Yellow Spheres. If I put it on the right, it won't work. If I put it on the left, it won't work. Because I specifically told the game to only do it if this is in the centre, and then these six are filled. So we just click that to take it out, and that's our item successfully created. Thanks for watching this episode of Minecraft Creep Modding Guide. If it helped you, please like the video. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my channel as that supports me a lot. I love this file and the texture I used uh, ready for you to download. And there will be a link in the description as well. And hopefully I'll see you guys next episode.